the South African shipyard's floating dock is at anchor in the Congela Basin and needs to be returned to the SA Shipyard Repair Key. Thanks guys. Morning, morning. Where's the dock master? Up. Okay, okay. Um, On arrival, the pilot will be briefed by the dock master as to the final position. The pilot has called for two tugs to lash up to either side of the floating dock. Ideally, the tugs will be making fast their working rope on the corners of the dock that will be landing on the quay. Once the working lines are fast, the tug will lie back as far as their headline angle will allow them. This method will afford the pilot more than enough power throughout the operation. He will be able to control the dock like a twin screw vessel with the additional ability of having the tugs push sideways as if the dock was fitted with its own bow thrusters. It's important for the pilot to make sure that both tugs are lashed up securely. Any movement between the tug and the floating dock will just cause complications further down the line. With both tugs securely lashed to the floating dock, the dock master may now raise all four anchors. The pilot will take a position on the corner of the dock that will afford him the best view during landing. It's important for the pilot at this stage to have confirmed with the tugs that any orders ahead will be in the direction of the key and orders astern will be in the direction away from the key. Once the dock is underway, the pilot will proceed at a very slow speed. This will also give him chance to familiarize how the dock is behaving in the prevailing winds. The wind condition in this area is usually directly onto the key or directly off the key, with a small possibility of variation in direction. In either scenario, the pilot can use these wind conditions to his advantage. On approach to the key, the pilot will keep the duration of orders to a minimum. This will avoid any unnecessary increase in speed towards the key. Once the dock is a few meters off the key, heaving lines will be sent to run the mooring lines. The mooring lines in turn will help pull the dock into its final position.
Once the dock is snugly in position, the outboard anchors will also be lowered to help keep the dock secure in its position. With confirmation from the dockmaster, the tugs can now be let go. The pilot will catch a lift back with one of the tugs and arrangements can be made to board one of the tugs in the most appropriate position. Thanks guys, thank you.